hate this damn phone. Man, I hate this phone. I hate it. I hate it. I hate it. Hey, everybody. Coast Steel Bill coming to you from out at the farm. Sun's going down. I've got a couple of 357s and a 38. I've got a couple of 45s out here. We're just out here shooting. I got my 454 Casul with me. I just attempted to do a video and this damn. Anyway, I'll get off of the phone issue. Quit hollering. Let's just shoot guns. That's what I'm about right now. I'm fucking aggravated, pissed off. This piece of junk camera. I had to have more than that. I guess I already shot them. That last pistol was a uh, 1873 conversion to a 45 Colt, and this is a Bulldog by Charter Arms, also chambered in 45 Colt. I'm about 45 feet from the target. It's pretty hot stuff. Short arms, 45 coat, bulldog. This next, mamma jamma, that we're fixing to shoot. Let me get my phone different so I don't cut you guys off. It's called the Taurus Raging Judge Magnum. I have it loaded with 454 Casul. I normally shoot it last simply because I knock all my targets down with it. If you don't hear the metal, if you don't hear the bullet hitting the target, well, it's simple. It's a daggum loud, and it's so fast, they're simultaneous. <laughs> Crap. Looks like I got crimp jump or primer blowout. All right, no big deal. A little bit of primer blowout. The orange target on the ground over there. That steel, man. I almost can pen penetrate that steel with this thing. You can load these things too hot. That one was hot. Yeah, that last round was hot. I don't know if I could have went past it. I was looking to see if that was the last one. Nope, that one was it, and that one was hot too. All right, we're shooting the 454 Casul again. This first round is a 45 Colt. Now, I don't know if you can see the Kevlar down there or not that's on that post. That thing has been shot up so heavily. Well, maybe you can see it now. Maybe I can keep it in the frame. Okay. First round is a 45. Man, I missed it. All right. These next guys, 454 Casul, baby. I normally knock that thing off down there. Beat your hand into submission if you have carpal tunnel. I love this 454. I love it, I love it, I love it. 
All right, we're back. We're going to go back to the uh, 1873 Colt 45 conversion. Let's shoot it for a little bit. Uh, these rounds I got in. All these rounds I'm shooting are hand loads. Uh, all the 45s and 454 Casuals are. So I, I got some of them mixed up. I don't know if it's going to be hot or a cowboy load. That one's pretty good for a cowboy load. Well, I'm hitting steel. That's it. Whoa, what the fuck? Again, for those that may have just joined us, what are we doing? We're shooting guns. That's all. 45s and 357s. We ain't even got started on them yet. Of crap have I got loaded here? These are about the lowest wads that I've seen. <clears throat> There's one that got mixed in. Yeah, I loaded a bunch for cowboy loads, which I normally never do. And, um, uh, Well, anyway, as you can see, we don't make for the best. <clears throat> shooting our guns, shooting the guns. All right, <clears throat> back to the 45 Bulldog. Hmm. I guess them last two were kind of hot. The Bulldog again, 45 Colt. This is a single shot 45. Something tells me it's going to be hot. On the orange steel. God damn. Yeah. Poof. Damn. Yeah, that one was hot. That was just below 454. All right. Back with a bulldog. Could be hot. It might. It might be. It might not. All right, <clears throat> we're back at the Raging Judge Magnum, and the reason I am is because I've got some 45 Colts loaded up hot, and the one you saw me shoot just a minute ago in that um, in that Bulldog, it, it shot it, but too many of them, and it blowed that Bulldog to pieces. But um, the Raging Judge Magnum is rated for the 454 Casul, which we all know has pressures much higher than a 45 at its best. I'm going to try to shoot the Kevlar. I don't know if y'all can see that Kevlar or not, but. <laughs> Guys, that was a 45 Colt. <laughs> you can see now why. Uh... <laughs> why. I... <laughs> Don't shoot them out of that bulldog. That's right. 45 coat to work here, baby. And you can do that. If you've got something like a Thompson Contender, okay, or, you know, then, or a Raging Judge Magnum, you can do that. And you can do that. You can shoot some really, really hot 45 Colts. All right. I'm going to give some props out to Starline Brass. This is new 45 uh, Colt Starline Brass, 45 Colt, 45 Long Colt, 45 Government. But anyway, as I said before, you saw what I've got it loaded to. I've got it loaded way above Sammy Specs for 45 Colt. But it is the only brass. If you're starting to reload, 
you can uh, you know you can in twice fired brass you can use anything that you can buy off the shelf but your durability is going to be questionable I have found out that 45 Colt Starline Brass to my opinion is the best It's a heavy gun too guys, very heavy. The one thing about it, you down here shooting this thing? There's not a yellow fly anywhere around. That will come anywhere near you. <laughs> I was down there earlier tinkering with the targets and I was getting eat up by the horse flies and yellow flies, but they are gone now. Alrighty, enough for the 45s, 454s, because my uh, wrist can't take a hell of a lot more of that 454 Casul. I don't know how many rounds I fired from it and uh, of those hot 45s, but we're going to step over here to the 38s and 357s. This is a Beerman 38 Special, a little Derringer, a little two shot. I did a video on it not long ago. Okay. And um, we're going to start the 38s and the 357s off with this guy here. For one reason and one reason only. I I don't like this gun. I mean, it's okay. I carry it in my pocket. Like, sometimes I have to get out of the truck. And if I don't have an overshirt or something like that for my, my pistol, then I'll just take it out and leave it in the truck. But I've got this guy in my pocket. safe <clears throat> hard as hell to cock seriously hard to cock it takes both hands all right enough of this time waster I just wanted to shoot it because it was out here with me. This is a Ruger. Okay. This is a Ruger SP. I'm sorry. This is a Ruger. Ruger SP 101. Also, cha also chambered in 357. It is a five shot. And I have never set the sights on this thing. So I don't have a clue where it's going to hit. Never shot this one a whole lot because I don't really care for the, uh, the grip on it. I am again, I'm shooting reloads and they're all different all different levels of powder. Five shot. SB 101 by Ruger. Taurus. 627. 357. 38. This is one of my favorites. I can hit with this bitch. You know what I mean? I can hit with that thing. All right, we're coming back with the Taurus. Again, 357, seven shot. On the Kevlar, if you can see it. <laughs> Again, with the Taurus tracker in 357. Let's see if we can get some profile for you guys. I don't know if that was even in the frame. 
difficult to watch the camera and you know aim the gun at the same time okay uh, what have we not shot yet ah uh, a Taurus model 66 also chambered in 357 another seven shot another one of my guns I like it I like it a lot